Hey, hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna be reading another creepy story uh, from an urban myth. And this one is called Crying Baby. Now, if I'm going to think of this one, I'm gonna think, if I hear like the story of Crying Baby, I'm gonna assume that it's like a creepy haunted house with like maybe like a creepy baby crying or something similar to that, or maybe a baby passed away and all they hear, all the parents hear now is a crying baby, maybe. But we'll see. The crying baby is an urban myth that has been circulating by email since 2003. Oh, really? It's just something I heard when I was a kid, I wonder. We'll see. It told the story of a woman who was home alone one night and heard the sound of a baby crying outside her front door. What? A few years ago, an email did the rounds warning people about a cunning serial killer who used a terrifying trick to lure his victims out of the safety of their homes and into his clutches. Oh, hell no. One night, a middle-aged man was sitting at home reading the newspaper. Her husband worked nights, which meant that she was often alone in the house. She didn't like being lonely. That's the worst part, that she was home alone too, right? It was getting late and she was about to go to bed, but she heard a strange noise outside. Don't go check it, please. Don't. It sounded like a crying baby and seemed to be coming from the bushes outside her front door. Hell to the no. I would not open my door for that. I just go over to the door, lock it, and go on. Close the blinds. Hell no. She thought it was very weird, but was tempted to go out and investigate. Of course. Just then, her dog jumped to his feet and began barking and growling at the door. She said, it's not a good sign when your dog barks and growls. The woman got a strange and uneasy feeling. She stopped in her tracks and decided to call the police and said, Good job. Be smart. When she told him she had learned the sound of a crying baby, the police said, We'll be right over. Whatever you do, do not open your door. Don't, don't open the door, lady. Listen to the police, please. Please listen to the police. The lady hung up the phone, and minutes later, she heard the sound of sirens as two police cars pulled into her driveway. One policeman banged on their door while the other searched the bushes outside their house. Did they find anything, I wonder? The woman opened their front door and let the policeman in. He was holding a doll in his arms, and she noticed that it had a tape recorder in his belly. What? The policeman p- pressed play on the tape recorder, and they both heard the sound of a baby crying. What the hell? That's so disturbing. He explained that there was a serial killer on the loose who was targeting women who were alone at night. How did he know how did he know that she was alone? He was using a cunning trick to fool the woman into opening their front doors and coming outside. He would hide in the bushes and play a tape of a baby crying. What a fucking psycho. The recording of the baby's cries would make the woman think there was a child uh, in need of help, and they would come out of their homes. While they were looking for the source of the cries, the killer would emerge from the bushes and murder them. What the fuck? That's insane, bro. What some people would do, though, eh? You said that in the past few days, they had several received several calls from women saying that they heard a crying baby outside their homes when they were alone at night. The serial killer had already murdered two women in Baton Rouge. Louisiana, sorry. And if it hadn't been for her dog warning her of the danger, she might have become his next victim. Oh my goodness. Thank God for her dog. While the police have never actually come across a real life case like this, the email was inspired by an episode of America's Most Wanted that terrorized that a serial killer in Louisiana may have been using the crime baby lore to fool one of his victims. Years later, an episode of Criminal Minds also mentioned a serial killer using the crime baby lure. So this killer or whatever was like inspired to for like episodes of like uh, shows that we watch now. That's pretty cool. And it was one of them in Criminal Minds. I don't know if I watched that episode or not. Cause I watched so many episodes of Criminal Minds. I don't know if I actually seen that episode. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. As always, stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.